Yo, what's good? This is your boy Lawrence, and I'm here with Chris and Luke, co host of Sup FM. Yeah, buddy. Every week we talk about streetwear, different things that are driving the culture, different things that are driving the hype. We're going to go over all the new sneaker releases, what's behind the design. Yep. We unpack stories from those sneakers. We'll talk to some of the best designers, and you'll probably get a rant from me about the old days of the sneaker culture. <laughs> yep. Listen, if there's stuff to talk about, we're going to talk about it. We are Sup FM. Oh, yeah, motherfuckers. What is up? Welcome to the one, the final, the last episode of Sup FM, now known as Rip FM. I am one of your hosts, Chris Cheney. Across from me, virtually, I have my two partners in crime, Lawrence DeLoke and Luce Teresi. What's up, guys? Hey, what's going on, Chris? (laughs) What's up, man? This is it. This This is is the last episode. This is it. I would have liked a little bit more, like, you know, a little bit more seriousness uh, to, end, to end it, but you just fucking just being Chris Cheney, man. Oh, man. Uh, That's it. Rip FM, baby. Well, <laughs> I mean, what else do you say? Well, well, first off, what, what, are we, what do we start off with? As usual, we give our social media handles, all right? I'm LZD325. Luke. I'm Trevisus. Chris. Not that Cheney. C-H-E-N-E-Y. Lawrence, you have another podcast, correct, sir? That is correct. It's called I Hate This Job. Uh, we talk about some of the worst jobs that we have worked. Uh, also, just want to give a big shout out to our producer, Matt Meany. Yo, That's right. Is, Free um, Meany on social media. Who has uh, stepped in and filled in uh, admirably, admirably. I think I <laughs> fucked that up. But uh, yep. no, I just listen, guys, this is our, our final episode to the listeners. We just want to thank you for uh, joining us on this ride that we started out over three and a half years ago and and it's been a fun ride. You know, we we picked up some passengers, some passengers have got off the car. We added some new passengers, but I think the three main passengers in the car have just realized that. Listen, guys, we have other uh, things that we want to work on and we have other you know things and we still love streetwear. We're always going to love streetwear. And but we still here. Keep, you know, and I just want to say that I thank you so. Yeah, no, sincerely, thank you. I mean, part of the yep. um, biggest issue that we had realizing that this was coming to an end is like, damn, we've had a couple of you guys listen to us literally from episode one when we posted on Reddit, like, you know, that three some odd years ago. Um, Motherfucking Ryan Ryder, El, ba- El Baco. Like, yep. you've had some great mm-hmm. people from the jump, yo. And, I, you know, mom, it's a lot of people that, you know, I, I just want to shout out Alex uh you know it's, Alex it's, the sneakers god the winner of all raffles winner of all raffles yeah we can't forget some- sketchy mike you know can't forget matt one of the first guys um you know mm-hmm. some of our uh foreigner uh uk listeners you know mm-hmm. out there like matt and then there's um Man, it's just I don't want now I'm scared I'm gonna leave someone out. You know what Ebony, I mean? like, Ebony Ebony Denise, like I, oh, I yeah. think her. She's yep. amazing. Like it's mad people that we just we've come in contact with over the last like three years that have just been fucking amazing. And uh yeah, it is sad that you know it, it has to it's coming to an end, but I think we just you know, like I said, this is the last episode. Y'all let's have a ball, yeah, let's talk some buddy. shit, man. Yeah. Um, so uh just also up top, um we're I'm not going to say we, but there still will be that monthly show, I guess, that I'm going to run. And, of course, Lawrence and Luke are going to be on it very regularly. Uh, so don't think that you can't still see us as a unit live. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, we're still going to be kicking. We're still together. You know what I mean? This is not like a, our friendship has ended or anything. You know what I mean? Like, we're yeah. still going to be seeing each other hanging out. Like, me and Luke are still going to, like, you know, uh, play Smash on Twitch. And, like, yep. you know, me and like, we're all going to be in the West 4th area, like, pretty regularly once this shit opens back up. So don't think, like, this isn't, like, like this is Yeah, the we're, we're not we're not falling off the face of the planet. We just yeah. got other things that we want to focus on. That's all. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, I mean, guys, I mean, I mean, I think we should obviously talk about some of our favorite moments together or individually. And, and I think uh, since uh, Luke was the last one to join us, I want you to go first, bro. What was some of your favorite moments, man? Uh, turkey based in Ho is probably one of my favorites of all time. <laughs> <laughs> The, the turkey based moment was pretty good. I think that was episode like 86 or something. 80, 86, maybe. Yeah. Chris. Chris is good with Dex is probably one of my favorite episodes of all time. And Bone Town. Holly, too. Oh, yeah. We got to talk about our guests, bro. We have like a pretty strong guest list that uh, rivals like some podcasts that are up there, you know, mm-hmm. talking like Frank the Butcher. We had Claw Money. We had Holland from Network. 
Um, even like other comedian friends like Rob Hayes, always a good guest. Isaiah. Uh, Brendan Sagalow, number one album <laughs> oh, yeah, across Sagalow. the country. Pretty crazy. I didn't think that his comedy album would get that good. Uh, we shouldn't have had him on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my boy, my boy, Joey Chen, he came through, you know, he was amazing. Oh, yeah, Cincinnati. Yeah. Cincinnati, uh, you know, and also, you know, I, not only just the guests, but I just want to thank uh, I want to thank Becky and Tanner because they were uh, they were very instrumental. And in, uh, in, in, in the very beginning of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there would there would be no podcast without Becky for sure. And then Tanner, God, that fucking kid's great. I love him. And, and Mike, you know, what I mean, Mike was, you know, we've had Mike on episode what 100, right? What do we have him on episode? No, not 100, but um, the three year anniversary, three year anniversary. Yeah. yeah. And he's come on in the past, you know, so like he was a guest mm -hmm. a couple times after he left. But I mean, like, yeah, no, we've had a good run, man. It's like. I I can't think, uh, you know, it was just working hard, not smart, mm -hmm. basically. Chris, what, are, what what's a good memory you have, man, about the podcast, bro? Uh, oh, I love when you can't say a word. It's great. That has to be one of the, my favorite things. I think my first introduction, because I didn't really know Lawrence like that when, when I first came on the podcast. And then he was trying to pronounce Swarovski diamonds. Swarovski. <laughs> Swarovski. And that, that was when I was like, oh, this guy's the best. <laughs> Swarovski. Yay. Also, um, the Tanner intern shows. Those were so great. Oh, those are so good. They deserve all the love in the world. Mm -hmm. um, I also weirdly have one of the favorite conversations that I had uh, for the podcast. It's weird because it's not a slight at either of you guys. You guys just weren't there. It was when Julian Guarino and Mike Wynn were on and they were talking about the best uh, blue collar outfits because Julian works for MTA. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we had the whole conversation of like, do the bus drivers drip match FedEx? It was such a weird and fun conversation that like, it's you know, and it's, it's conversations like these that you don't realize that you can have. And it's like only we can have those kinds of conversations, you know. So it's like that's another memory I have of just like being able to really talk about stuff with you guys. And then, you know, through the audio medium, like with the fans after they listen to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you, Lawrence? What's one of your favorite moments? Um, You know, some of my favorite moments were uh, we were Chris and we had we were using uh, Becky studio. And, you know, they they had like a little falling out. So we Chris and I would we would record, you know, I would go to his house. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, there would be times when I would just I'd be like, Chris, you know, we, we have to uh, meet in Manhattan because I'm about to play basketball. Uh, and and I and I need you to just record with me in the car. And we were recording the car. And it was some of it was one of those moments where I was like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking kill this guy. Like, just because like. <laughs> Cause he's annoying the shit out of me, but I love him, but he's fucking annoying the shit out of me. And like, I would play basketball with my friends and he would just be yelling at them. Like, you know, yeah. bunch, and they would just be like, yo, shut, who is this dude, man? And it was just like, it was just fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it was like, you know, that was, that was the type of shit that we did. It didn't matter where we recorded, you know what I mean? Like we just fucking did it, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And, and I think I'm that I'm definitely going to miss, you know, that, like anywhere like we had we had bought a recorder yeah. right you know so yeah the the uh bonus episode the bape um the bape, bape show episode was great because L lawrence i don't know lawrence never really like smokes weed like that but mm -hmm. like before that episode chris had some weed on hand and he uh, was like no we're gonna smoke this weed and we're gonna record this bonus episode <laughs> oh yeah i remember that yeah and that it, was... it was aggressive as fuck for a fucking bonus episode <laughs> <laughs> but it I was i don't even remember that i, yeah, I remember that yeah we smoked weed before that one so yeah, yeah, that's why we were like fuck it it's a bonus episode <laughs> and then yeah. we didn't bring we didn't mention once that we were we were high on that. Oh, really? <laughs> that's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny as shit. I don't even remember that, but that's that's great. Um, yeah. Damn. Um, I I also loved uh, any any time that we were out as a unit, or mm -hmm. even at least partially, like the time I bombed on Mike Wynn and Fumi's show, Lawrence. Oh, that is legendary. I hear about that every now and then, <laughs> not just from you guys, but like uh, the Asian comedians. <laughs> Like Yo. Mike and Fumi are like, this is one of the greatest of all time. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was an interesting night, man, because they had What's up, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it what happened was I think I had they had booked me on the show. 
and they was like, well, you know, you do sup with, with Chris. So they're like, let's, you know, we got, we're going to have the sup guys on, on the, the comedy show. So, you know, Mike obviously being a former host and he runs it with uh, Fumi, uh, another comedian in New York. The, the crowd is heavily Asian. Yes. And, yep. uh, and Chris goes on there and like, and the most Chris Cheney way just yells at these Asian kids and they just did not fuck with Chris and it was one of the funniest oh. moments ever yo it was so fucking hilarious man the so. audience was in horror the comedians were in the back hysterically laughing oh yeah it's bad they when knew the comedians Chris were was laughing. just not gonna mesh with them at all yeah bro well, we were just yeah I tried to do a joke about Filipinos terrible idea <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm Woo. So Good I time, think, man. Yeah, it was it was, you know, I mean, Chris and I, we even we did a, a TV show to offer the strength of this podcast, man. Mm -hmm. On TV, just could like just because we wanted to talk about shoes. That's how the power of sneakers, yo. Like, I know it's like it, we're in a situation where, like, you know, at any moment um, there's enough weird things going on that, like, Lawrence could go on an old head rant and like, I'll agree. And then like Luke would be like, you guys should shut Our up. Old... But, I mean... <laughs> you guys should yeah. get your life alerts now because you're so old <laughs> All right, man. I, mean, I mean also aside from that just like the sneakers that we've gotten through just doing the you know what i mean like our interests have changed like we've helped meld each other's like way of thinking i think you know like i consider things from mm -hmm. lawrence's perspective and luke's perspective you know mm -hmm. even the fans too like you know when we get a w or they get a w and we all kind of talk about it like you know i had like for example like uh the fragment threes of like why well, i love them so much Mm -hmm. um you know in an actor we already mentioned ryan Ryder. ryan was like you know what man like when you talked about that like it's more of like an object than it is a sneaker and it's like the appreciation of it like he was like i i, I was convinced you influenced me like i'm with you on that so like th those types of conversations are like i'll cherish those forever too you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so chris is about to announce his social media influencer uh new lifestyle. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be on those he's gonna be on tiktoks with his shoes out like, yeah what right you know about rolling in the deep <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you guys too. You've met the fans; they're great. Like it's they're just, fantastic. I, yeah. I I hope that you guys continue to follow us individually and as a group, just like not on this audio medium. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sketchy Mike is. I fucks with Sketchy Mike. Yo. Oh, That's dude. dude, Sketchy Mike's one of the best. Even Brad. Shout out to Brad for just being whatever you call that. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think one of the, the the best things about doing this podcast uh, every week is like you said, like you know you the Discord uh, because. There's the people who listen to it and then they actually like talk. We have like there's actual debates, mm -hmm. you know, when episodes release. And I think that's, um, you know, that's that's amazing. You know, I love hearing guys like Chris Ramirez, you know, talk on, on the fucking discord. You know, mm -hmm. some guys you just you know, they it's fun. And I think that's that's the I, if we didn't if we didn't gain anything from this, because if complex sneakers guys beat us or whatever, or they fucking outlasted us. The one thing that we have fucked them is we have an amazing discord. And we I do. Think, and that'll stay that'll stay up and running, I'm sure. Right. Yeah. I'm not I'm not going to pull it down. I, yeah. mean, I don't know what, like what I'll do as far as like the name is it, like a shit, but. Ah, keep it a sub, keep it a sub FM. What are we going? I mean, we still sub, it's still sub FM Discord, yeah. man. We yeah. still the sub FM guys, man. You know what I mean? So it's still streetwear and lifestyle, baby. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you guys have a favorite discussion that maybe we had on the podcast? If you could think of one, uh, Warren Lotus is probably one of my favorites. Warren, yeah. like going back and forth for like weeks on end about like, is this fucking counter? Like, is this bootleg? bullshit or not like <laughs> every week and like having a new kind of i don't know just like new information coming out just it was kind of cool and then also the because it was the discord would also um like chime super in. chime in like mm -hmm. we have like paragraphs from people about like they bring up ari and then bape and then this and then that and you just really get like history lessons on certain things um, that really kind of opened up the my eyes a little bit more on like some of the history of stuff, you know. What about you guys? Uh, me, it was weekend and week out, man. It was at times it was the Travis Scott show, man, and to a certain extent, it still is the Travis Scott show at times, man. But uh, you know, we we started and in February 2018, we we've in that span we've seen a, a Travis Scott uh, four. We've seen, you know, uh, two Jordan ones. We've seen a dunk. You know, we've also discussed the the how Travis influenced, you know, SBs. Remember when we first started, SBs weren't 
you know, shit. coveted. As, well, they were shit, but they weren't as coveted as, you know, they were, mm -hmm. you know, during the, the time of our podcast. So I think um, I definitely miss shit like that. You know, Chris talking about a double, you know, collab label. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tri triple labels, triple labels and, you know, all of that shit, man, that, that Chris would talk about. And I think that's that's the stuff that, you know, that. That was that was fun at times talking or debating, you know, the resale of things and, you know, and and just we we had hypes that we talked about the sneakers of the decade, bro. Like, mm -hmm. we yeah, talk, we talked about some shit, man. So, yeah. Um, how about this, too? Because uh, we can also talk about a recent like, you know, like this week, what happened with W's. But do you guys have a favorite W as far as like things that you got while we were potting? Because, I mean. Pre pod, you know, we all have like like one grail each that we all sort of like. This is the one, but like while we were potting, do you guys have one? Mm. While we were potting, so I'll go first just to give you like an example. So like, um, although I think the fragment threes are probably like my favorite Jordan, um, I think that the Union fours that I got was like a nice representation of me, like not only like because that's after I got hired at A Life, so not only. Uh, like before this podcast, uh, I liked a life before I moved to New York. I liked a life. So like getting those through the hookup of working at a life was sort of like a, it's like a here, Chris, this is what it's like. You're, you're one of us now. It was like yeah. a nice little, you know what I mean? So it meant a lot in that. Like I got to say that on the podcast, like, yo, union emailed me and they were like, you want this? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do. So, you know what I mean? Like stuff like that. I don't know about you guys. I mean, like, you know, maybe Luke, you and the Ewings, you have like that little special representation I, there. I think, yeah, I think the, the Ewings are, uh, um, they're, they're definitely like more of a recent cop. Uh, I guess they were like what, 2018, 19, whatever it was. Uh, whenever I first started coming on here, uh, um, I was definitely looking into more Ewing stuff. But I think the Zoom, my my Zoom 92s that I got from that same package that you did uh, is probably my favorite pickup because that, that one is like, it's not like a hype shoe or anything like that. It was just a friend hooked me up with it. And it was like all kind of at the same time. And it was a big moment for you, too. And I knew it was a big moment. So, uh, you know. That's like I always think of that. Like it's like, oh look, Chris, Chris got me these because he's fucking, he's hot shit now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, what about you, Al? You got anything? Uh, I'm trying to think. The stuff that I, I've purchased during the span of this podcast, which has been three years, that I really, uh, I think, I think one of my favorite sneakers that I got, and I think it just, I and mean, we talked about it a million times. It's like, you know, for me. Uh, I think it's probably the Sean uh, Witherspoons that uh, that I purchased, you know. Oh, from, OK. Uh, you know, I think it's one of those sneakers that remember, there's certain sneakers that the average sneaker person who likes sneakers likes. And then sometimes there's certain sneakers that brings out a person who may not be in the sneakers, but, you know, it, it, it piques their interest. And I didn't get the, the sneakers when they originally came out, uh, but I was able to uh get them through at Nordstrom uh no connection just you know the store had opened and you know I was just in in there and and uh filled out a raffle and, and won and I was like I you know to this day I'm like well, still one of my favorite sneakers man so you know you mentioned in raffles that's another thing I want to talk about real quick is like the the community of it, it's just so interesting through the discord how many like industry people who like sort of creep and they don't really like contribute to the conversation but like use assets from our shit like I guess the biggest example is like we have a person that works at Louis Vuitton, right? Who like will use our uh, raffle links. <laughs> yeah. That like Chris Ramirez and like ZX Runner, um, like, you know what I mean? So it's like, oh, it's, a, it's an interesting, like, it's just such a weird, cool kind of community that we were able to build, you know? Yeah. No, that, I know. That's, that's, uh, that's something to be proud of for sure. The community that we built around this show is uh, something that's just, you, you're never going to be able to replicate in our lifetimes so i you know we, we really encourage you guys to stay stay in the discord and hang out with it we'll still be uh cutting it up with, with you guys in there no yeah, I problem ain't, i ain't going nowhere on the discord mm -hmm. i think it's actually it's it's amazing you know i mean like i said i, I what what i like is you know there's there's so many people who uh who fucking dm me you know what i mean that listen to the podcast and have like questions for me and shit and i'm like wow you know like i'm just the i'm just a little kid from brooklyn who just like you know who loves sneakers but the fact that we do podcasts and, and people f 
fucking reach out all the time. You know what I mean? My man, uh, Mesro, uh, uh, Tim Bush. That's, you know, I think that's his Instagram screen. I, he'll always DM me some shit. And I'll just, you know, I love talking like to people because it's like, this Yo, is what this is. This Lawrence, is what, hmm? Do you remember when someone DM you and asked you if you like curly fries versus regular fries? I do I that was so long ago, bro. <laughs> yo, I remember. I was like, yo, what, what are these people asking us? What is this? <laughs> yo, I forget who it was, but someone uh like Instagram like DM'd Lawrence like a bunch of questions, and I remember he was reading them off mm-hmm. on air, and he was just like, uh, yeah. So the question of curly fries versus regular fries, I think I'm gonna go with curly, and I'm like, what are curly? What is, <laughs> what is, what is happening here? <laughs> that. That's what that's what it is, though. Like when you you know, when people when people listen and enjoy your, your personality, sometimes they want to yeah. know more than just the sneakers, you know, and I think that that shit was dope. Like it was it was fun. It's fun, you know, and I and yeah, you're going to you realize like, damn, like you're going to you're going to miss it. But, mm-hmm. you know, I think it's still f- for us to grow as people and, and shit. You know, we all have personal issues in life and things we yeah. have. So it's like. You know, I think what you know, this is this is a good little run, man. This was fun. This, if you listen to the first episode versus where we at now, bro, there's so much fucking growth. Yeah. Yeah. A lot the, of growth. The strides we were able to make as broadcasters, um, you know, just being able to learn how to maneuver on a mic like like, you know, these are all reps like these three years ain't like going away. Like we're going to take these skills and be able to build off them, you know. I know so much information about streetwear now that I didn't before all of this. You know, I came in and I was just a guy who was like, I, I know the like the, the six brands that I know. And then, you know, after like talking with you guys every week, I was like, oh, OK, we're I just I know everything now. I am going to sit here and I'm going to talk people's ears off about all of this. Yeah. yeah. Even like when we had Farrell Robbins on to, to her breakdown and shit like that. A lot of people don't think about that type mm-hmm. of part of the, the industry, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we- you look at you look at when we had Fresco on, like you said, like there's certain things that certain things that he brought to the table, you know, what I mean, from his from his uh the shit he was working on his, you know, with, with the kids. Yeah. Yep. You, you Social know? studies. That's what I'm saying. So you, you, you get to have all these different uh points of views from people. I, it's something that you can never take away, man. For real. This has been an old head rant. My back hurts. <laughs> my knee hurts. My head hurts. Everything hurts. What, I, what did he I, say? Get off my lawn, you young, stupid kids. He just dropped the old head moment. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's the first time he's heard that. That's wow, the that's first a, time he ever heard that. That's hilarious, show. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm, I'm going to miss shit like this, man. Being an old head talking about sneakers, man. Mm-hmm. So... That was great, Meanie. Good job. Um, uh, if we weren't ending, you'd get a raise. You'd get you get a raise from zero dollars to zero 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 dollars. <laughs> yeah, the double zero, bro. You, hanging from the rafter. You, you get the cost of living raise, Meanie, the, which is nothing. <laughs> Listen to my other podcast. I hate this job. We, quarter, talk about cost, we talk about cost of living raises. Fuck the fuck jobs. Fuck that, man. Fuck your shitty jobs. Oh, hilarious. Um, yeah, I mean, but let's end on a very high note. I think, guys, um, because we don't want to, like, bury this to, you know, we're just rambling. But we do have some W's this week. Oh, yeah. Everyone here sort of took a W and ran um, with Luke, I think, being the the main guy as my win is through him. Yes, I have. I'm a big winner this week. You know, you are big, big winner. Um, I won the the P rods over the weekend, which, you know, gave me some dirty looks and some congratulations. Uh, It's a mix of both. Love it. Um, and then uh, I got the the fragment dunks, which, you know, Cheney hit me up and was like, yo, sell me those. And I was like, I'm not going to sell him for resale value. That's scummy. Just take them. You know, that's a that's a friend right there. Yeah, that's man. a fucking friend right there. Yeah, Love it. You know, least I can do. Guy, what about- I like, yeah, immediately, immediately when I got them, I was like, there's no way, you know, this is not <laughs> Chris is going to hit me up about these. I know. It. <laughs> <laughs> Al, what about know, you, El? Uh, I got my uh, I got my Nike ID uh, dunks in. Love them. Great quality. Yellow. Just like I want it. Banana foot. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's another thing now that I just said that, like we've had like I, I like the little like the duck is cold. Mm-hmm. These little like memes that we kind of had throughout the whole thing, like the mm-hmm. banana feet, like, you know, mm-hmm. shit like that. I've loved. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, Definitely man. Some good ones. Swar- Swarovski licensing. Um, Fujiwara. Fujiwara. Fujiwara uh, licensing Swarovski. Lawrence, you think you can give it a shot? <laughs> Fujiwara licensing Swarovski. Swarovski. Yeah! Yep. <laughs> I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. Thank you. It's I deserve it. Solid. <laughs> so, I mean, sneaker wellness check. We're all doing pretty good. I mean... <laughs> Yo, the sneakers app, that really dictates your day for some people. You sure you're okay? I'm okay. Okay. Do you enjoy pain? Pain don't hurt. What if they didn't like them? What if they told me I was no good? Yo, check on your friends that have the sneakers app. That's that's okay. That's okay, Meanie. It's great. He played the long one. <laughs> he, played, he played the long one. It's fine. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? No, that was great. Um, yeah, so we're all pretty good. We're doing well. You see, we we started the show. We'd always like get mad at sneakers, and now look at us, all winning in our own ways. In our own get, ways, yo. I'm getting fucking Fujiwara shit without even the app downloaded. Not even, not even downloaded. There so. you go. It's the best. Um, let me see. I think one of uh, let me think. I'm trying to think of one of my favorite guests that we've had on besides like the ones that we've already mentioned. I think the the Tungal brothers were great. You know, oh yeah, Rome and, Rome Rome and Rav, yep. mm-hmm. they were fantastic. Just it was cool having that much Filipino energy on one episode. I really <laughs> like that. <laughs> you know, that was very cool. Um, well, juice, fucking juice, ju- was juice amazing. Is, yeah, amazing. Is great, love juice. Juice. And we do, we do need to um give a strong shout out to Isaiah because he's been our sixth man off the bench mm-hmm. for years. Like anytime one of us couldn't do it, um he was down and always brought like that real mm-hmm. real, real Brooklyn perspective. I'm really he's like I'm really gonna fight everybody on here today. Mm-hmm. Uh, he really is the Lou Williams of this podcast. Three years yeah. running, sixth man of the year. Yeah, man. Yo, you remember that episode uh, Pockets was on and he was uh, he was rolling and, <laughs> yeah. he, was, and yeah. he kept rolling next to the uh, and, and the he was rolling, was rolling, and, the and jo- yeah. rolling the joint next to the fucking mic. And I was like, yo, bro, what are you doing, man? Like I was giving him this look like, come on, fam, like, don't fuck this up, man. Yeah. Like, so I, I that shit like that, man. I'm, I am I definitely I it's. Oh, that shit is so funny. <laughs> yeah. Feeney was also on that episode. Um Damn, like, yeah, we had a lot of co- a lot of comics come through with yeah, some good had, energy. Yeah, we had some great, you know, we had some great uh, guests, you know, so. But yeah, man, um, I don't want to make this like, you know, too sentimental or too dragged out or whatever. Um, why don't we just put a bow on it, guys? Let's just end this on a high note. All three of us got some new sneakers this week. Um, mm-hmm. You can follow me at not that Cheney, C H E N E Y as usual. Uh, Lawrence, you have another podcast that's not ending that's going to continue. I hate this job pod. Yeah, my shit ain't ending. This shit, you know what I mean? My shit, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it, it, like, you know, whatever. You know, it's just keep, just listen, you know? That's, that's it. That's all I can say. Just listen. Motherfuckers, just hate your job. LZD325. Yeah, the licensing is, is, is warm still on that shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trovisus. Yep. The young Filipino Jesus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sacrilegious. <laughs> Blasphemous. Big you Bucks. Know. Motherfucking Matt Meany, three Meany. Thank you so much, brother, for yeah, for jumping on this, man. You fucking you rock for real. And uh you always, you know, pre- just you appreciate it, bro, for real. Yeah, you definitely taught us how to podcast better. I will say that. Like you made us kind of look at it as like with his radio perspective and really kind of helped us kind of fine tune the show a little bit and I'm very very grateful. Thank you, Matt. You know how many times you know I'm sorry, you know how many times motherfucking Matt Meany would get on after the fucking show and be like, guys, that was fucking great, guys. Yeah. You, know that, you said Luke, that was a and Luke be like, nah, what did I say? And Matt be like, all right, minute 28, you said <laughs> and he'd be like, yo, Meany's a great coach. So I appreciate that, brother. Yeah. And he just loves talking basketball right before the podcast. We'll just fucking chop it up with me. And he's really, he's really uh, an MVP. Thank you so much for everything you did, man. Yes. Yeah, man. And then also shout out to both the Knicks and the Nets for staying alive in this playoff series. We won't be able to cover the end. <laughs> I don't know about that, bro. <laughs> hey, man, yo, I mean, the Knicks, they, <clears throat> I, they well, might do it. They might, but Julius looks like he is not. Uh, Julius looks like he he came off of a bender and just started playing basketball again. Yeah, that's true. 
I mean, even the way the Celtics played last night, I'm kind of like, oh, the Nets got to try still. Chris, stop. It's over. <laughs> stop. They got their Yo, one game, took Jason Tatum 50 points. For, stop. All right. Let's just I know. Stop. Yo, stop, I went stop. to game two here. Oh, oh dude. Brutal. Stop. All right. Thank you. Just just enjoy your one win. And <laughs> take your one win home. Take your 50 points from Jason Tatum and, <laughs> and be proud that, you know, there's no Jalen Brown and you guys won a game. All right. That's all. Yep. Mm hmm. All right, guys. See you guys next week, guys. We were just bullshitting. This was, we just wanted to see if you guys care about us. We'll be back next week. <laughs> Wait, no. How hilarious would that be if we just spotted like regular? Hey, hey everybody. Oh, we're back. We're back. We were just fucking around with y'all. You know. Uh, no, sincerely, guys. This has been quite the journey, and it's been not only a learning experience, but something I won't be able to forget. Like, this was, you know, for all, you know, any animosity we had like trying to figure stuff out or like we couldn't get on the page of like doing whatever like this is still going to be a great moment uh in my life you know yes yeah. yeah now i get Stop. to harass people in the streets and be like those are the off-white fives and they'll be like bro these i don't know what these are i just got them from a friend you there's know? no way that someone's wearing the off-white fives and they don't know what the off-white fives rich are. rich people rich uh, maybe stuff. maybe rich people <sighs> but all right guys um street wears ultimate podcast is uh this is it i you, think Vir virgil was wrong guys he said streetwear is dead in 2020 streetwear is dead in 2021 my friends uh, <laughs> we're... all right guys but all right guys it's been real thank you so much and um we hope that uh we'll run into you in a different capacity somewhere else in life peace peace, peace.